not much chance to video the uh, work I just did. It was just, uh, I just wanted to get it done. But uh, the oil pan is, uh, well, first I chased all the bolt holes and I cleaned them out and I blew them out. Um, the, the oil pan, I ended up actually lifting the block off of the uh, stand anyways. And I used the uh, bell housing to, uh, I bolt the bell housing to the block and then I cinched the oil pan like finger tight to the block and then I tighten up the bell housing the oil pan bolt so it pulls it flush with the back of the block then I snug the bolts then I put it back on the stand then I flip it over then I torqued everything um, I did remember the RTV at the four corners uh, I did also do a little realign on the front cover I wasn't happy with how that looked and um, to be honest with you I'm still not sure how that's gonna work out so we'll see one thing I found out kinda ticked at myself for this is um, I don't have the block to bell housing dowels anymore. Um, not quite sure what happened to them. I know there was some in my LS block that I sold just recently. I guess there were just never any in the in this LQ block. They must have either stuck with the trans or they took them out for some reason. So I gotta find a set of those. Probably uh, I guess a new set of those somewhere. Probably from GM. It's only more money. So right now I'm going to put the lifters and the lifter bores and I still think I might get the heads in today. So we're going to kind of plug on here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of oil in the lifter bores. Just on, just kind of putting some oil on my finger and sticking some in there. My goal is, uh, I actually took off work the next two days, um, and I wasn't expecting to get my heads on today. I was actually planning on doing that tomorrow, but if I get them on today, great. My goal is Friday, by the end of the day, I would very much love to have the motor in the car. And that you might be thinking that sounds ambitious, and you'd be right. Um, but it's really pretty close. There, there's certain things that I really won't need to mess with um like injectors i'm going to be putting new injectors in but that doesn't have to happen till after it's in the car so okay anyways enough babbling uh the lifters have been soaking in oil for about an hour i i know i go back and forth on um you know some people say to do it some people say don't bother but i went ahead and did it um if it ruins my motor then I'll let everyone know. So I'm just picking the lifters out of the oil right now and lining them up in the um, lifter guides and I'll, I'll show you the I'll show you the whole thing once I'm done sticking them in here. I'm trying to not get oil everywhere. But that's already happening. So looks good. Alright. So here is the lifters in the lifter guide. The lifter tray. Um, I'm actually, I've never actually loaded a full one of these in, so we're gonna see how it goes. I guess you just slide them in there. Yeah. Well, that was very uneventful. <laughs> I was kind of expecting maybe a little bit of drama there, but um, I did go ahead and get new. These are new trays because they're like seven dollars a piece, so. You know why not no hor no horror stories of cracking lifter trays or falling out whatnots with me here hopefully uh, at this point i'm just kind of diving in with my whole hand to get oil out of this bucket or get lifters out of this bucket And I'm sorry this video isn't very exciting, but the next one should be. The next one should be of me putting the head on. Heads. Um, one thing I'm concerned about is being torque to yield bolts. You're supposed to use an angle, um, an angle attachment. I have one. 
it works like complete crap. Uh, I'm not actually sure why it was cheap, which is probably my answer right there. Um, so what I might do is I might actually um, I might actually do it a different way. I might actually mark off the angle with like I have a degree wheel that I made. I might actually mark it off with a string and then do it that way. I'm not sure. I've heard of people doing it that way. It's kind of a cheating way of doing it, I guess, but I mean, as long as the angle's right, it shouldn't be a problem, I wouldn't think. I guess I don't have to really worry too much about getting oil all over my motor at this point, because it's going to be full of oil, hopefully in a day or two. And hopefully not soon after that, or not long after that, it's got oil pumping through it. One more towel ruined. Slide these in. Okay, and then the next thing I got to do is put the bolts in and torque them down, and then I will be probably doing the head.